Sin Chow, everybody. How you doing? Boston boy here once again on my balcony in Saigon. You love that building over there. Tallest one in Vietnam, don't you know? Anyway, yeah, I'm wearing a motorbike helmet just because I'm a screwball, you know. Anyway, we put together a little video of American barbecue, not backyard grill cookout. Barbecue, you know, the pulled pork, the ribs, that kind of barbecue. Real barbecue versus Vietnamese table barbecue. So I hope you enjoy it. Watch the video to the end. That's going to be the Vietnamese table barbecue. Frog legs and octopus and this little cup with like peanut butter and an oyster. Yeah, you got to see it. All right, so first up, the American barbecue over here in District 2, Quan Ut Ut. One of our favorite places for the for American barbecue. So don't forget, eat the world, baby. We'll see you over there. Sin ciao, everybody. Boston boy and Chan Chan here on the camera. We're here getting some American barbecue tonight at Quan Ut Ut, District 2. Quan is the restaurant. Ut Ut is oink oink, is that right, Chan? Yeah? Oink oink, so pig pig. Ut Ut. Ut Ut. So we're going to do some American barbecue tonight. We've been here once before. It's awesome. And then we're gonna get some uh, Vietnamese barbecue, doing a little comparison for you. So come on inside, let's get smoked. See you in there. food has arrived so you always got to get some mac and cheese when you go for barbecue so we're gonna get in and try that in a minute I prefer a little crust on mine but it looks good it smells nice and we got some I'm a cashew nut well I'm not a cashew nut but I'm a cashew fan so I just got a few ribs here of cashew smoked ribs pork ribs everything here is pork and then we got some sample here we got some kind of sausage looks really nice we got some pork shoulder. Oh, here's the pork shoulder, I'm sorry. We got some rib tip here. And we got some smoked chicken. Peri Peri smoked chicken. Man, this all smells great. Of course, here, you know, we got some nice coconut. Fresh coconut water. A little corn, grilled corn, and some okra. Which, Tim Tim, you can have all the okra. But anyway. Let's get in here and first try the mac and cheese, man. Oh. That's nice. That's nice. A little grainy. That'd be the cheddar in there. A little grainy, but not bad. It's, it's nice and moist, that's for sure. No, no real complaints about it. Like I said, I would prefer a little crust, but... That's okay. We got a bevy of sauces over here too. We'll try after. So that's good. Nice, perfectly smoked. Got just a little pull on it. Not completely falling off the bone, but that's what you want. Oh, yeah. That's real nice. Lightly smoked sauce, nice vinegar based sauce. Mm. Yeah, one more bite of that before I move on. Yeah, look at that. Yeah. Those are nice. Yeah. This place is owned by an American guy, I guess. He's got two locations, one in District 1. Try this sausage. I know it's a pork sausage, but mm, some nice spice in there. Wow. Mm. 
I'll be back in a second. No. Okay, I'm back. That's really nice. It's um almost has a kielbasa taste to it. Nice little spice to it. Just the right amount of salt. Nice char. Nicely done. Whoop. Now we'll get in here, we'll try some of this pork rib tip. I was hoping they'd have burnt ends, but they don't love them burnt ends. That's nice. Yep. Everything you'd expect in some pork rib. Nice and moist, lightly smoked. Real nice. It's got some sauce here. I don't even know what these are. I know one's got to be spicy, but let's try that. Let's see what that sauce is. Sorry, a lot of vinegar in that one. Wow, that really took me by surprise. But that's nice though, that's your mustard based sauce, so like your Carolina. Oh, so cute. That looks nice too, huh? So far, no complaints at all here. <laughs> Sorry, just uh, a little more vinegar than I expected in the chicken, a little more spice, but that's nice. Really, really moist, fall right off the bone, real super nice. And we got the pork shoulder, the pulled pork. That looks great. Yeah, once again, real nice. Everything I expect from barbecue, like at home, it's better than some barbecue I've had at home. And although this is a little more costly to come here than, you know, Vietnamese local food, it's still half the price of what you pay at home. Oh, that's a spicy sauce. There, I found it. <laughs> Got a lot of cayenne pepper in that one to get me in the back of the throat. So anyway, yeah. Quan Ut Ut. Real nice here, District 2. Another location, District 1. Like I said, we're going to do some comparison. We're going to hit up some Vietnamese barbecue. Show you the difference. But right now, we got to get in here, get messy, get dirty. Get finger licking. We'll see ya. Thanks for watching. Eat the world, baby. That's good. Xin chào! Xin chào, everybody. So now we're on our second part of the barbecue video. American barbecue versus Vietnamese barbecue. Of course, the barbecue at home, a lot of you are thinking is in your backyard with hamburgers and hot dogs and chicken. Let's face it, folks, that's not real barbecue. That's a cookout. Barbecue is the low, slow on a pit in a smoking cabinet. Um, so here, this is this is Vietnam barbecue at your table. Okay, nice and nice. You know, smells real good. You got the wood coals in there. So we got some really cool dishes coming up here. We got, we got some typical Vietnamese barbecued items. We got some frog here. A little, we got a little Kermit going on. We got some nice beef here. And we got some pork belly. Bacon, really. And we got something on the way. I don't know, the, the menu said peanut butter. I don't know what it's gonna show up, but it's for the grill. So, barbecue grilled peanut butter. We'll see what that's all about. We have another really cool thing showing up.
and this coconut shell looks like some kind of tomato sauce. You'll see it, it's awesome. Right now, let's get on a little frog leg here. A little Kermit leg. We'll get, we'll get cooking here, okay? So this is your Vietnamese barbecue, your Vietnamese backyard barbecue. You don't see no burgers and hot dogs here, people. So, you know, gotta deal with that here. You're in Vietnam, baby. All right, so we'll get some of this going on here. We'll get that cooking up. And we'll be right back to show you the peanut butter. I don't know, I really don't know, I'm clueless on that. But we'll be right back, we're gonna let this cook up. We'll see you in a minute. We got a few things ready. We're still waiting on our coconut tomato thing. I don't know what it is. But we got some frog ready. We got some bacon ready. Pork belly, but it's bacon. Let's go and get eating because we're hungry, man. So, barbecue frog, you know. Look at that. So, fat frog many times. It's good. good. Tastes just like chicken, people. Give it a try. So, got a nice sauce on there. A little curry kind of taste. A little red curry going on. A lot of garlic. Oh yeah, I'm I'm, I'm not doing my job over here on the grill. I'm trying to do a video and be the grill chef here. Oh, we got some nice hot beef here too. That guy nice and rare, so that's alright. We got some okra going on here. And over here we got some veg. This here, this is water spinach, oh, morning glory. This is one of my favorite vegetables in the world. They fry it up, some garlic, nice fried garlic, yeah man. This is so good. I know, I just use my fingers because I suck with the chopsticks, so. That's nice and crunchy. Nice little sweet flavor to it. Just a quick saute with it. Yeah. These nice whole cloves of roasted garlic, man. Oh yeah, nice stuff. So again, this is, this is your Vietnamese barbecue. Not at home, you know, in America where you get your burgers. And back here, this is common street stuff here. See if you can turn around, champ champ. That's why it's hard to hear now. You got the street karaoke people. This is your live entertainment here in Vietnam, people. You come around this table and ask me about it. The bacon's good too. It's not smoked, but it's, it's really good. I've never had bacon I don't like. We're gonna cut this video off here because we can't hear anymore over Liberace or Elvis Presley over here. We'll see you in a minute. All right, so our coconut surprise has arrived. I hope you can hear me over Elvis Presley down here. He's just not going away. <laughs> so I don't know, this is really funky. Got some cheese on here. I don't know what's in this little thing. I thought they'd give me a spoon or something, but I guess not. So we got like, like some squid in here, some mussels in here. We're gonna wait for this fire to die, die down a little bit before we can dig in. So I want to roast myself. But we just wanted to see it with all the fire around it. It's so pretty in the coconut shell. Japanese rice. I forget what they call it. Seen in my other video. 
from Japan. So that's the same tomato sauce too. I knew I tasted that before. Guess we got a little octopi in there. Japanese tomato sauce. I honestly cannot remember the name of it. Those little rice cakes. They're really starchy, really chewy. The good, the great grunt food though. When you saw him chop up the octopus, that's kind of cool. We're gonna try that. The sauce is a little spicy, a little sweet. It's like sweet chef Boyardee, man. Stuff. Yeah, the squid, the, the octopus is really good. Oh, you got some green, oh, nice green tip mussels. We got that cheese in there too. That's the same thing I had in Tokyo with that same cheese, man. We're oh, going for a little of that. Jam, jam, don't like cheese. Oh, what's that? Peace and quiet? Oof. Yeah. That's your basic low-end mozzarella, but it's really good, man. I'm not sure what this is. Any idea, Jim? Maybe tofu or something, I don't know. Or a rice cake or something? It's almost like they took a thick wonton and just soaked it in the sauce. It's really good, nice and soft. Kind of disintegrates in your mouth. So anyway, this is the, I don't know what we're going to call it, we'll call it the flaming coconut, you know, the volcano of seafood. That's coconut. Yeah, this is a, oh, this is coconut meat. Oh, is that what that is? Coconut meat. Didn't taste anything like it. Well, that's really cool. I've never had savory coconut meat like that before. Nice. All right. Well, that's that mystery gone. I'm burning some barbecue over here. We're still working on that. We're still waiting on a peanut butter, so we'll be right back with that. Alright, so the mystery of the grilled peanut butter. It's actually an oyster in a cup with peanut butter and peanut, and we just let it sit here and cook up. So we'll be right back when this is all done, we'll try it out. I never had a peanut butter oyster before. In the meantime, I'm gonna go get rid of this kid and his fucking bull box. Japanese street food. You get this sauce with those little rice cakes. They're very chewy, starchy, cracky yucky. Should be right anyway. So anyway, this is uh, the grilled peanut butter. I didn't know what they were gonna do for grilled peanut butter, so didn't know it was an oyster. See, so put the little cup on the grill. The peanut butter melts, cooks the oyster. Never seen that before. So this is what you end up with. Liquid peanut butter, some peanuts, and an oyster. So, I like oysters. I love peanut butter. Let's go in and try this bad boy. I don't know. This is really funky to me. I've never paired seafood and peanut butter before. I don't Thought of it, I was a chef for 30 years. But, alright. So, anyway, 
starts our little journey into Vietnam barbecue. So you can see a little bit of the difference between real American barbecue and right here in Saigon. Hope you enjoyed our little journey. A little rough with the music tonight, but we did our best. We will catch you on the next video. Eat the world, baby. Till then, Tom B.